Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie Dye Lab. Today I'm making a reverse dyed spiral. I washed my shirt in the washing machine and just took it out while it was still damp. And I'm using a Gildan 100% cotton shirt. I'm going to use my fork and spiral up my shirt the way I normally do. And I'm going to hold it in place with some rubber bands. I'm using some rubber bands on it just to hold it in place until I can get my kite string tied around it. Because I'm going to submerge this one in the RIT dye remover, I want to make sure I have it tied as tightly as I can. So I'm going to use some kite string for that. I'm going to wrap it around a lot of times and as I'm doing that I'm pulling the kite string really tight so that it pulls these folds really close to each other. Okay, so now it's time to start removing the dye. I'm using boxes of Rick Color Remover, and I purchased this just at Michael's. You can get it at a craft store or just an all-purpose store like Walmart or Target. Any place that sells Rick dye usually has the color remover as well. I have a bucket that's probably about a four gallon bucket, and I have it about a third of the way full of really hot water from the tap. I'm gonna take two packets of the color remover powder and pour it down into my water and mix it up with a pair of tongs. I'm going to add some boiling water to the top of my bucket. Then I'm using one of my dye bottles that's clean and I'm trying to add some of this water to the dye bottle. It's kind of awkward because the water is super hot since I stuck the boiling hot water in there. So it's burning my fingers and I'm trying to fill it up without burning my hands. Then I'm going to experiment with this shirt this time and try to add the color remover only to one half of my shirt. So I am just applying it like I would apply dye. And I know you can't really tell the invisible line that I'm using because it's a clear liquid on a black shirt. But I put it on my shirt and you can kind of see in the tub where part of that dye has run through the shirt. But I was concerned that I wasn't getting enough of the color out. So then I took and just submerged my shirt halfway down into the color remover and left it for a while and then just put it back out on my rack to go ahead and wait the rest of the 20 minutes. One of the ways of removing color on the RIT color remover box says that you can leave your shirt for 20 minutes. So that's just kind of the standard that I go by. I had shirts down in my bucket and so after I rinsed out my shirts in the bucket, I just pulled this one and rinsed it as well. After the 20 minutes, I took, rinsed it in some warm water in a sink, untied it, and threw it in my washing machine with just regular laundry soap, and let it wash a regular cycle. After I washed and dried my shirt, I went ahead and prepped it the way I normally do to dye a shirt. I soaked it in soda ash, wrung it out in my panda spin dryer, then I tied it up in a spiral form again. I spiraled up my shirt the same direction that I did the first time, because all I'm gonna do is apply dye to that one side of my shirt. So that's what I'm doing. I am adding dye only to this one half of my shirt on the front and on the back, and I'm gonna use two colors. I'm going to use Grateful Dyes Stock Red and Pro Chemicals Basic Red. They're very close and very similar to each other, but I'm just gonna mix those two on the shirt. I'm trying to saturate my shirt fairly well because I wanna make sure most of the area gets dyed red.
Okay, so here's how our shirt turned out. Hey guys, if you all are enjoying watching these videos, I sure would appreciate you subscribing to my YouTube channel. All you have to do is hit the big red subscribe button. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.